racing world is full of dreamers and full of hopes that are shattered by bad luck or bad horses. And yet, once in a while, along comes a story about a battler who beats the odds, who is finally rewarded for the long years of struggle. That story, and that man, is Melbourne trainer Mickey Winks. Jeff Hutchison reports on the triumph of a gentle spirit. We're very young when we were married. I was 16, he was 18. And uh, we've been married 40 years. So we stuck it out where a lot of people thought we wouldn't. Of course, I, well, there was times when I thought, just get away from it, you know? It just causes nothing but heartache. I think she'd miss it too. No. Oh. Try me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try me. She loves to come, do it. Yeah, How would right. you like to be locked up at home all day? <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Poor oh, man. Don't bite. Don't bite. Love it. Good boy. Oh, man. Steady, man. Steady, steady. Mickey Winks is a 59-year-old father of six. He first rode track work here at Flemington for his own dad 47 years ago. And still, each day is full of wonder. Once, you, once you've been on a horse and loved him, You'll always love them, I think. I get a bit teary when I talk. <laughs> I, I do, because I, I love horses so much. Yeah. He loves them better than me, doesn't he? Do you love them better than Marlene? <laughs> oh, not really. Tell the truth. Well, we've been together so long. <laughs> he's been a jockey, a drover. He's worked in factories. He's been a milkman. And now, as the trainer of a lovely little horse he calls Scrawny, Mickey Winks is being dragged from dreamy obscurity into racing's big time. And on the grandstand, Brawny Spirit and Sequalo. I think they're in front out here. It's Brawny Spirit, Sequalo. Brawny Spirit and Sequalo. Brawny Spirit taking the lead. Brawny Spirit has won it from Sequalo. I wasn't sure whether he was going to win or not. 50 yards to go. And, but when he got that nose in front of Sequalo, I knew he'd, he wouldn't give in then. Do you get nervous on oh, race day? Not, not too bad. Maybe a couple of scotches. <laughs> I think I burst into tears. I was with my girlfriend. And uh, I grabbed hold of her. I was, I was screaming. He's won, he's won. She said, no, he hasn't. And I said, yes, he has. <laughs> and he hadn't even gotten to the post. <laughs> when Brawny Spirit dived for the line to win last Monday's Newmarket Handicap, he took his earnings past $1 million. Not a bad return for a horse which cost just 3200 A horse which gave a battler a chance. Oh, he looked like a weanling. A weanling. I thought, oh, how am I, what am I going to do with this one, you know? Anyway, oh, he's, when I rode him, it was different underneath. Yeah, he's very strong underneath. Isn't it? Oh, God, he's small. Good boys. See, there's plenty of handy horses, but not the ones that go like this bloke. And old Sam there, he, you're taking the races, you know they're going to try, they're, they're hard out for you. Many a time I said to him, why don't you give up? And he kept saying, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right. You just yeah. battle on. Every time we thought, oh, give up, you know, don't go on. I said, don't go on me. He'd go out the next time and he'd win a race. Judges call for a photo. They're wide apart. Brawny's got it. Brawny Spirit's held on to win, number five. The VRC. I'm putting it on. And this lovely little lady, <laughs> she's giving me a smile. <laughs> it's put me right off. So, <laughs> thanks very much, everybody. Like when we won on uh, Monday, Mick went straight home and had pizza. For tea. He didn't take you out to tea? No, no, he's got to go home to bed. He gets too tired. So the family and I, we went we went down to the Chinese in Footscray and we had a lovely meal. But he never goes out. No, he's always got to go home and he'll have his pizza or his chow food. And he, he hasn't done a lot of things. He's never been in an aeroplane. 
Uh, he's never really been on a holiday since the youngest was three. And how old's the youngest now? Twenty. How old is he, Denise? Timothy. Uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah. The Hayes family has Lindsay Park. Mickey has Marlene, Denise, five sons, eight nags, and a dream which tough times could not destroy. Oh, when you're not training winners, no one wants you. No one wants you. But your friends generally stick by you. You know, there's times when you think, how am I going to pay that bill? Or, you know, and as I said, then next thing you've got a winner and you pay that bill. So that may, even if you've got nothing after that, at least it's got you that far. Yeah. So we always ate well and we always slept good. Come on, who wants to go on first? Ruby. Oh, come on. Oh, do you want your daddy to lift you on me? Yeah, Mick can lift oh. you on. What a go. Yeah. You just hold him there. Hold on to a bit of that hair there. You got him? Isn't she beautiful, Ruby? Oh. Will he retire? Ever? No. <laughs> no, this is his life. This is what he loves. So if I asked you what you might be doing in 10 years' time, what Still do you reckon? Down here. Probably. It's if I can walk. <laughs> I'll be here. We'll all be here to help him. And yesterday, Mickey probably needed it. For just five days after the greatest win of his career, Brawny's spirit suffered a tendon injury even before he got to the racetrack. He might be out for up to four months, but I'd like to wager a bob or two that tonight Mickey isn't dwelling on the lost opportunities or the few extra quid he may have been getting used to. He'll just be wondering when he can next get on Scrawny's back to share a cool Flemington morning, for those intimate moments seem to mean more to Mickey Wink than any race win ever will. I hope it never leaves that. I hope I can ride the door. Don't either. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I really do like it. <laughs> it gets all emotional. Oh, I've been riding since I was a little kid. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't. <laughs> Mickey and Marlene, wonderful characters. Mickey Wink. Even his name seems to bring a smiley face. He should register it. Still to come on the show, Phil King's medal admission for uh, Atlanta. And after the break, is the game they play in heaven about to go to hell in a landslide of cash? Do you worry a bit about the future of the game at club level? With, with the senior players being as greedy as they have been with the cut up of the cape, yes. The coaches are doing this year a much better job than last year and the results are being forthcoming uh, for the athletes. Mm -hmm. 